Hello my friends, how to set up a local network between two computers with Windows 11 Pro and Windows 10 Pro, and then share files via LAN cable at high speed. You can use a standard Ethernet cable, but for better bandwidth, use a CAT6, CAT6A, or CAT7 cable, you can find the cable category printed on its outer jacket. Okay, connect one end of the cable to the LAN port of the first computer or laptop and the other end to the second. PC number 1. I will first rename the computer for easier identification during this demonstration. Click Start. Then go to Settings. Select Rename this PC, and assign any name you prefer. Click Next. Then choose Restart Later. In the taskbar search, type Control Panel. Open it. Go to Network and Internet, then Network and Sharing Center, and click on Change Adapter Settings. Right-click your active Ethernet adapter, and select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, then click Properties. Check the option use the following IP address and enter the exact same details as I do. Review everything carefully, then click OK. Close all windows. Open the network and internet section. And go to the advanced network settings section. Click advanced sharing settings. For all three available profiles, set the parameters exactly as shown in the video. Close all windows. Restart the computer to apply all settings. PC number 2. Again, for identification purposes, I will rename it. Open File Explorer. Go to this PC. And right-click on an empty area. Select Properties. Then click Advanced System Settings. Under the Computer Name tab, click Change, and rename the device, for example, PC2, you may choose any name that suits you. Click OK. You can restart the computer later. Now, search for an open control panel. Go to Network and Internet. Then Network and Sharing Center. Click Change Adapter Settings. Right-click your Ethernet adapter, and choose Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click, Properties. Check use the following IP address, and carefully enter the values. Note that these values will differ slightly from the first PC. Review all inputs carefully, and click OK. Close all windows. Now we need to enable access to this PC on the network. Go to Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Open all three sections, and configure each setting exactly as shown in the video. Click Save Changes, then restart the computer. Back to PC1. At this stage, it is already possible to exchange files via LAN cable between the first and second PCs. To do this, open Explorer, and click on the network icon. 
As you can see, only PC2 is currently visible. Sometimes other network shortcuts may appear and disappear randomly. To avoid this inconsistency, do the following, right click on an empty area of the desktop and select, new shortcut. Type two backslashes followed by the name of the second computer, for example, PC2. Click next, then finish. Repeat the same process to create a shortcut for PC1. To access a shared folder on PC2, double-click the shortcut, you will be prompted to enter network credentials, and if you're using Windows 11 on PC1, you must enter the credentials correctly. Use the format, name of the second computer, followed by a backslash, and the account name on the first computer. Enter the account password. Click OK. In the latest Windows 11 update, Microsoft has introduced stricter access policies. As a result, connecting to shared folders may not work as expected, but older versions of Windows 11 or Windows 10 usually do not have this issue. If you encounter a problem, here's how to resolve it using the local group policy editor and command prompt. These changes are made only on the machine that cannot access the shared folder. Press Windows, R, on your keyboard. In the Run dialog, enter the following command. OK. Go to Administrative Templates. Network. Click Landman Workstation. Double-click Enable Insecure Guest Logons. Set it to Enabled. Click Apply. Then OK. Close the window. OK, double-click the PC2 shortcut and re-enter your credentials. In my case, this did not resolve the issue, so I will use the command prompt, but if you already have access to the shared folder, you can skip this part. Find command prompt in search, and select run as administrator. For convenience, I have created a document containing three commands that can be copied and pasted directly. You'll find these commands in the video description and can also save them to a text file on your desktop. Execute the commands. Type exit and press enter. Double-click the shortcut to PC2 again and re-enter credentials. Now access to the shared folder is successful. As an example, I will place an Ubuntu ISO file into the Shared Documents folder. As we can see, the data transfer speed with a direct cable connection is quite good. PC number 2. Open File Explorer then network. The connection is successful, and the shortcut to PC2 is visible. Double-click it, then go to the Users folder, then Public, and then Shared Documents. Now drag the Ubuntu ISO file to the desktop. Please note that the transfer speed is significantly higher here, meaning that file transfers over a LAN cable are very fast and efficient. You can also transfer files in the opposite direction, 
from PC2 to PC1, simply create a shortcut if needed. Let's see how this video works. As an example, I will open the shared videos folder and drag a video from the desktop into it. Back on PC1. Let's test the video file. It plays without issues, this method works reliably. And finally, let's see how to return all changes in the settings to their original state. First, open the control panel. Go to Network and Internet. Then Network and Sharing Center. And click on Change Adapter Settings. Right-click your active Ethernet adapter, and select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, then click Properties. Click Obtain an IP address automatically. Click Obtain DNS Server Address automatically. OK. Click Change Advanced Sharing Options. For all three available profiles, set the settings exactly as shown in the video. For the changes to take effect, you must restart your computer. Lastly, if this was done on a desktop computer, don't forget to reconnect the internet cable. If you found this guide helpful, please share my video. Thank you very much. Good luck.